Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We took a little pause because we were making some changes in the shop. We got a lot going on. Uh, our biggest change recently is we got AC, we added some new lifts, we've added new technicians. So we got a lot of rearranging going on and we've been setting up our new facility. So we're gonna take you around right now. We're gonna show you some of the stuff that we got going on um, and talk about some of these builds. Right here we have a GT350 that's on the lift. It's getting a supercharger. It's our 850 package. Nice and sweet, short and simple. Uh, car performs great with just a blower and our custom tune. This one's getting ready to hit the dyno in the next day or so. Moving on. As you can see, we got our fans going, the AC blowing, everybody's nice and cool. This right here, we're waiting for one little part on this car. We've been working on this car for a while now. It's kind of been a slow, slow process on gathering parts and everything, but this is getting ready to go on the dyno. Shooting for about 1,300 wheel horsepower. Stingray C7, uh, Z51 package with a 427 and an F1X, RPM trans and diff, and all the goodies that go along with that. So once we get that one little part, we're hitting the dyno with it, get ready to break the motor in and make some power. Flop it over to this side. All right guys, so we got a cool build over here. This is a 850 track hawk. We do a lot of track hawks. People love them, they run great. They're fast, they're already a great vehicle. Matt has his new fender cover on this thing right here. This is kind of his style. Goes with his long hair. Really, really wants to protect the car, so he uses his good blanket. That's right. Same blanket he used to sleep with when he was a kid. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, hilarious. We've got another track hawk. Now this one is a much more aggressive build. This is a 426 stroker, uh, custom motor. It's got triple fuel pumps in it, full fuel system, uh, four or five liter Whipple. It's getting the whole powertrain put back in right now. It's our 1200 package. These things are absolutely gnarly. This thing's gonna be fast. So we're working on getting this one together, waiting on some parts for the fuel system, and then it'll be hitting the dyno probably next week. So look out for this one. Hey, Donnie. Over here we have Donovan. He's working on a navigator. Uh, this one is getting power only upgrades. He's getting ready to wrap it up now. Gaps and spark plugs and we'll be done with this one. We hit the dyno and go into test drive phase. Thanks, Donovan. Raptors, everybody knows we do a ton of Raptors. They are our bread and butter, our most popular vehicle. Uh, we build tons of these things. This one is sitting here uh, waiting to hit the dyno. It's been completed. It's got our bumper and lights on it and our power upgrades stock suspension some of these guys get big suspension some of these guys get stock suspension just depends they get gun safes they get all kind of accessories whatever you can put on a raptor we put it on we've seen it all we love these trucks they're great trucks we'll even put a v8 in it for you all right guys so some of the changes that we made in the shop i was talking about we've added a few lifts we added two lifts over here, we added a lift over there, and obviously we have a whole new facility over here. Here's two of our new lifts. James over here is working on the GT350R, it's getting the uh, 850 package. James, how you doing? Good, hey James, the vlog knows who you are. Yes. Yeah, the vlog knows James. I've James works on, he works on a lot of different vehicles, he's a great technician, uh, very detail oriented, so he's getting ready to wrap this one up here in the next day or so. This one will get ready to hit the dyno and we can start doing some testing on it. Awesome, looks great James. Thanks James. Any last words? You're good on camera. Can't think of anything right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Caught me off the spot. I normally have something. Any new tattoos? No, not yet. I need to get some more, man. Need to get I've some been spending all my money on my race car. Literally, every yeah. penny I have is going on What's your race car? car? It starts now. It's out there. That what Lexus. Oh, Lexus. Okay. You'll see the trust. You'll see the engine sticking out of the hood. It's Guys, one of the things you need to know about all the techs at Hennessy, we all have project cars. We all have race cars. We all have some kind of car that we mess with that we love. Our daily drivers are modified. Our race cars are modified. It's really just a big money pay. Even some <laughs> of the office people. Even some of the office people. Yep. yep. Yeah, like Alex has a Supra. And Adam. And Adam. Yep. <laughs> All right. So on our other new lift, and excuse some of the mess, guys, we've been just rearranging everything in this whole shop. There's just been so many changes and adding new technicians, and everyone's trying to get settled with their toolboxes and whatnot. We have a Goliath here on the lift. Uh, just got done putting the motor in. It's getting back together. If you can peek up in there, Emma, you can show them the blower and everything all on there. Uh, the Goliath builds have been popular. They've been awesome. Uh, they're great to drive. They're fast. 
We spent a lot of time perfecting these and we're still making progress every day. The tuning was a challenge on these vehicles, but we're just on the forefront of it and we're just making progress every day and they've really turned out to be great. All right, moving on to the other side of the shop. We've only made it about halfway through this whole thing. We got another Raptor on the list. This one's getting ready to be completed. Rodrigo is working hard on this one. Still got to do the bumper and brakes. He's doing some suspension upgrades. Just plugging away at everything, working hard. And uh, that's what we want. Our technicians are great. They're very focused. We don't like to bother them a whole lot. Some of them talk more than others. <laughs> Moving on to the Goliath. We said Goliaths are popular and they sure are. We got this one right here as a GMC. A little bit different front end, same package overall. Uh, bumper's a little bit different and some of the accessories on the outside of the vehicle. This one's kind of coming near completion. Uh, be ready for tuning in the next day or two and then it'll hit the dyno. This is our Daniel. Hey Daniel. <laughs> Hello. Um, okay, another GMC 6.2 DI trucks. We've been modding these trucks since they came out for years now. The package is perfect. This truck here is getting a blower. Uh, we go all the way up to an 800 package that gets a stroker motor and brakes and wheels and tires and a lowering kit. This particular truck is just getting the supercharger. He's getting a brake upgrade and he's getting a suspension lowered. Brand new GMC, beautiful truck, performs great when it's done. All right guys, one of our new technicians amongst a few of them is Ricky. He came to us from Florida, okay? And he's doing a great job. He just started this week. This is his second build. Velociraptor is kind of where we start everyone at. I mean, they're very detailed. You got wiring to do, you got suspension to do, you got power upgrades to do, so it's kind of the perfect build to get someone accustomed to doing it. He's no stranger to the performance world. He's done all this stuff before. Uh, just getting his feet wet here, and we're excited to watch him grow, so welcome. Thank you, man. Glad we're, to be here. We're glad to have you. Amazing family out here. Yeah. Oh, get to that's work, sweet, though. Ricky. <laughs> no, thanks, Ricky. All right. Yet another Velociraptor. Like I told you guys, we build tons of trucks. Trucks, trucks, trucks. So, this one is getting all the same things as that one. Power upgrades, our bumper upgrades, all the wiring's being done on this one right now. As you can see, guys, everything is nice and tight and right. Got our Velociraptor cut into the grill here, or into the bumper. Uh, this one has our stage two lift kit on it, so this one will be pretty jacked up. Um, you can see by the massive spindle here, it's going to get its power running boards um, and then it will get washed, dynoed, and tested and back to the customer. Alright, we have here our dyno cell. This is a new addition. The dyno is not new, but the cell is. So we're walking in here now, it's all enclosed. Big surprise, Velociraptor on the dyno. All our trucks get tested once they're done. Make sure they're making the horsepower that we say they're gonna make. All right guys, walking into the calibrator's office. This office is unique because it looks at both dynos. So there's uh, viewing windows from this one to that dyno, and then from this window to the new dyno. So it's kind of a corner common space. We won't get up in these guys' business too much. Walking out, we have was on the dyno yesterday making a bunch of power all is well we're getting ready to pull it off uh, reassemble the back bumper all the splash shields all the little little odds and ends but the the power is there Aaron here is unstrapping it he's one of our dyno operators and coming up calibrators uh, so we were here late last night working on this thing and it sounds and runs great you guys are going to get to hear it and see it in action very soon um, Aaron will get it unstrapped and then he'll unhook the links on the dyno. This is an all-wheel drive dyno, so uh, something that's needed for our turbo cars because it's loaded, our all-wheel drive cars, even some cars that aren't all-wheel drive need to be on an all-wheel drive dyno. They need to see the front wheel speed, McLarens are like that. So it's really, we're really excited to have our new all-wheel drive dyno. So you're gonna start to see a little bit of construction stuff as we walk into the new building now. We have these key cards. They access certain parts of the building. They operate certain doors. You put this up to the door, it unlocks a magnet, you open the door, very top secret stuff. Really cool. I don't need it for this door, but. <laughs> Go ahead. So as you can see, there's instruction here. 
This is where we're going to be putting our other dyno. We're moving it over to the side. So still a lot of construction going on in here, but we're now starting to do some work in this new building. There's only four lifts in here, um, special vehicles only, special projects, big AC facility. Um, we have an engine clean room right here. Uh, this whole thing is a clean room. The calibrator's office is over there. They all connect. Uh, and then there's a separate office over here and then a design studio upstairs with a viewing deck, which is really cool. We are back with the Audi R8. You probably saw it a few vlogs ago. I was working on building this car. The customer got the car. He loves it. It's great. But one of the things that he wants to do is he wants to be able to launch it from a dig, meaning zero miles per hour, stomp on the gas. We don't recommend that with the stock transmission, so we let him drive it for a little bit. He's enjoying it, and now we're upgrading the transmission. Paul here is gonna get the transmission out of this thing, and we're gonna do the clutches on it, um, and that should be able to handle the power that this car is making and let the customer do what he wants to do with it safely with a warranty. So it already has a twin turbo package. It already has our twin turbo package. So we have a huge variety of cars and trucks around this place as you've seen on our walk around and we haven't even been outside yet but one of the things we have in the special building is a Lamborghini Urus. Uh, we upgraded this vehicle, it's got our 750 package on it um, which is light mods but it picks up a bunch of power, good tune, good exhaust, good air filter package and these things really start to shine. They're already great vehicles, uh, good contender against the Trackhawk. They're really cool looking too. Take a walk around of this thing and look at some of the body lines on it. It's really just a beautiful SUV. Emma wants one. Yeah, so. I do. This is my dream car. So, <laughs> Lamborghini, sponsor me, please. The paint is beautiful yeah. on it. It's like a metallic blue. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous car to look at. Another really cool vehicle that we have in the shop is this 800 horsepower Escalade. I built this vehicle a few years ago. Um, it was one of my favorites. I've built a lot of 800 horsepower Escalades. I like this one in particular. Funny story is we had the opportunity, this vehicle came up for sale. We had the opportunity to buy it um, and I wanted to buy it uh, for myself, but our accountant bought it and now it's his. So. It's okay, it's a beautiful vehicle. I'm glad to have it here. It's fully custom wrapped in matte black. HRE wheels, it's lowered. It's got full Brembo brake, brake package all around. 416 cubic inch motor, built transmission, fuel system, headers, all the bolt-ons, tinted windows. I mean, it's really a beautiful truck. We love it, it runs great. Uh, the customer enjoyed it for years and is now parted ways with it. And I'm glad to just be around it again. And you drive an Escalade. I do drive an Escalade. A little bit older, but a lot louder. Just kind of showing all the trucks that we have here on this side, and we haven't even been to the front of the building where we have mostly the sports cars, but we just have Raptors from this end of the parking lot all the way down to the other end. If you come back here, I'll show you. We got a six by six. This vehicle's for sale, actually. Brand new build. Um, we can kind of customize it the way you want power wise but it's mostly done now just look down this row emma will show you and we just have raptors from this end to that end now some of these are dealer trucks some of these are customer trucks but just to give you an idea of the volume of these trucks that we build um, it's just ridiculous it's crazy and we got plenty of guys to crank them out they all know what they're doing they're great trucks um, and we really wouldn't want it any other way so we kind of have pretty much over here on these rocks is all the trucks that are in line to be built uh, or be supplied some type of way. Some of them may have already been built. Everything, navigators, rangers, rafters, just an endless line of these trucks, guys. All right, guys, so over here we have four Corvettes, three 1200 ZR1s, that's a 1200, these two are 1200s. Those cars are awesome. They all make, you know, 1,050, 1,100 of the wheels. Um, no problem. We got a Z06 850 package here. Our heads, cam, headers, bolt-ons. Uh, really great car, convertible. And if you look around, we just have a variety of sports cars. Got Tahoe RST over there with a supercharger on it. The Huracan is pulling up. Got Demon GT500, ZL1. That's my Escalade over there. The Lambo Showing sounds off. good. Yep. I parked mine so I don't get any door dings. I parked with the customers. Camaro SS's, Chevy SS's, more Hellcats. We have C8s, Jeep Supras. We got Maximus over there. We 
We got it all. It. We have everything, guys. If you have a car that you want to make faster, send it to us. We'll find a way to make it faster. It doesn't matter what it is. It kind of matters what it is, but not all the way. We'll find a way to make it faster. So just showing you guys some of the variety and some of the improvements in the facility and the business. Um, still have our racetrack, keeping the lawn groomed, keeping everything nice. So we got a lot of good things going on and we're hiring a lot of new staff. So if you think you have what it takes, just send us your resume, apply. Just stay tuned for more videos from us.